Capaldi. This was interesting. I really liked the music and the effects. I love the red dresses. So great costumes. Um, this might be a real tribe for all I know. And this is what they wear. That's kind of what that felt like. So even though this is a film, it felt like it was just a, a snapshot into the day of this these people's lives. Um, cool ending shot, by the way. That was my favorite. was the ending shot where the reflection was actually upside right. And she was actually upside down. So that was really cool. It took me a second to take it in because my mind wanted to see it the other way. So that was really neat. Um, and I just love the, the different shots of the water and the tribal music, the drums, and how it was kind of speeding up at one point. So I really liked it a lot. And it was fun to watch. So great job. All right, I just finished watching um, Haldi. I hope I'm saying that um, correctly. I, I really enjoyed this piece. I thought it was so, such a visually striking piece, the landscape, um, the costume design um, with the women and the young girl. I thought that there was just a great sort of ethereal and spiritual mood to the piece that I, I usually tend to enjoy. I thought just um, the environment being used as a character, I thought really worked well within this piece. Obviously, there's minimal dialogue or maybe no dialogue in this piece, but I thought that there was a narrative form in terms of um, a life and death existence, a very spiritual idea. And I thought that towards the end, um, the image is obviously the very striking um, closing image of the sort of flipped world dynamic. I thought it had some very interesting spiritual um, dy um, undercurrents and a lot of sort of um, a dim multi-dimensional um, ideas that I thought were very well executed given the fact that this um, piece wasn't filled um, with a bunch of um, dialogue and narration. I thought it really had a, a great sense of theme and mood um, despite that and most of it was because of um, how great the piece looked and how um, smoothly it was edited and how strong the cinematography was in terms of um, mixing with the mood and music of the piece to um, create a cohesive idea. So I thought the overall piece was um, very well done, um, extraordinarily uh, beautiful and moody and um, that's why I enjoyed it. This film was so visually stunning. Um, it had this like, like cinematic quality to it where the production value was so high and it just looked so effortlessly beautiful. The coloring was fantastic. The red of the outfits against that like gray um, kind of environment really, really popped. Um, the eyes, the eyes of these women were so powerful, were so piercing. And uh, I thought that the last shot was absolutely incredible, which was a mirror shot of the first um, shot that we saw, but kind of flipped in reverse where we're seeing the reflection. Um, just incredible cinematography overall. Um, just like visually so satisfying and, and so impressive. Um, incredible job. I just got finished watching Haldi. This had a really cool opening title section with all of the bubbles underwater. I thought that that was very original. I loved the costumes in here. I think that the cinematography and especially the underwater cinematography was absolutely amazing. The music gave this such a really cool tribal but yet foreboding feel. Nice job. Haldi. Well, the women in this piece seem to be upper Scandinavian indigenous people, the Sami people. There were no men. And so I guess the message was something to do with all the ages of the women. We're observing them and they're touching the water. There's a connection with the water, the stream. She puts her hand in the stream. The beautiful red dress that they wear. It's such a contrast to the expansive landscape that's in grays and and very light there's a lot of eye contact with these women so it's like they want you to understand something from their expression about how they see themselves in their community and there's shots of bubbles in the dark water air coming up and through maybe life it's quite mesmerizing very interesting this was an astonishingly cinematic piece that 
seem to convey so much through uh, expression and, and imagery alone, yet still maintain this sort of mystery about it, which was just a really an incredible uh, line to toe. Um, you get this vivid color and contrast, you know, especially with the the red uh, costume on the green on the green backdrops. It was uh, just a nice contrast and nice good complementary colors. Um, it's just it's just such a wildly creative piece. It just it was really uh, bold and just kind of had me in awe and just to sit back and uh, just just take it in. It was great that way. All the there is a stark gray coloring to this piece. We have pops of color, um, which we see in the grass. We see in the clothing that uh, the people in it are wearing, which is a really stark red. And I wonder if this is a purposeful coloring choice or if it's a result of the environment. Just it was a really gray, dreary day. Um, it could go either way, but it seems too, um, it just, it seems purposefully done. Like it, it just seems too crisp for it to have just kind of happened that way because the grays are so very gray and then the colors are so very stark. But we get a sense of a community of a village all coexisting. Um, I sense a connection with the water within this community um, because there's parts where we actually feel like we're emerging from the water. We feel like we're in the water. And that's the feeling that I get from this piece is, is community, is um, a connection to nature overall is a sense of family. Um, all of that was very clear from just, just the way this piece was was created, done, and just the coloring that was used throughout. 